Today, I'm going to be going over this question, which is question six from what I believe is the um, paper one from January 2010, I mean 2012. That's what I think this question is anyway. Um, this question is, again, a kind of tedious graphing question in which you'll have to graph a curve and then draw a line a straight line in order to find some root to some equation. So firstly, the part completing the table give the three missing values correct to two decimal places. This should be fairly easy. Like you can just simply use a calculator and find the values you're looking for. So for example, three cos 0 0.5 divided by two is 2.9067 blah, blah, blah. So that would just be uh, 2.91. And then for two, it would just be three cos one. And one thing you should notice is that the input for cosine here is in radians because this graph sort of smoothly goes down from three, I mean, down from three to nearly zero when it's at three. And it wouldn't have that kind of large smooth gap with radians. I mean with degrees, because with degrees you're kind of stuck with having to go a really long time, like it, the inputs would have to reach uh, say 90 for x to be 0, but obviously since 3 is around pi and this is around 0, it kind of makes sense. Like 3 would be around pi over 2 and cause when, when you put 3 cos 3 over 2 here. And pi, cos pi over 2, of course, is 0, so that's why this would make more sense for it to be in radians. Additionally, it is likely that in most further pure questions where this is the case, they're just giving you the trig function without any context, you can fairly safely assume that it's going to be radians. All right, so we have 3 co cosine 1, which is just 1.62. And finally, 3 cosine 3.5 divided by 3, 1.18. Ah, no, my bad. 3 cosine 3.5 divided by 2. And that would be negative 0. 5, 3. All right, so we have this part of the question done, and then now it's asking us to draw this graph. Now, normally you could use a graphical calculator to do this. It's quite tedious for me to draw this onto the paper, but I'll try anyway. Um, the way they want you to do this in the exam is by plotting the points you have in the table. For example, you have 0 goes to 3, and 0 0.5 goes to 2.91. So that would be around here. One would go to 2.63. 1.5 would go to 2.20. Two would go to 1.62. And you can kind of see the shape of the cos graph taking place or making shape here basically 2.5 to 0 0.95 so that'll be around here and normally for these questions i think they're meant to give you around one one millimeter of leeway like you have a one millimeter gap in which you should put your uh, pencil marks and yeah again important point graph should be done in pencil Use pen if you're trying to indicate that you're taking a value from the graph, but otherwise pull the graphs in pencil. So we have 3 is 0 0.21. 1 which brings us here. And finally, 3.5 is negative 0 0.53, which brings us around here. And we get our curve of best fit 
sort of down here. So it's more like here, is it? Anyway, we have this reasonably okay graph. Um, marks would be lost for this kind of error where the line does not pass through the points. But I'm on a pen tablet, I'm just trying my best. So this is the part where a lot of people get tripped up. Using your graph, find an estimate to one decimal place for the root of the equation 2x is 1 plus 2 cos x over 2. All right, so obviously it's saying use your graph. So you're going to be using the graph of this function here, the graph of 3 cos x over 2. Now, you want to find this, which is 2x equals 1 plus 2 cos x over 2. And now the first thing you might notice is that this term here looks a lot like the y term. It's not exactly the y term, but it is, um, this is equal to, since it's this is a 2 here and this is a 3, then it's going to be 2 thirds of y. So you don't have to use y per se, but you can use any kind of variable to substitute. So like, firstly, you have to take the original curve as a variable. So for example, um, let u be equal to, and this is answering part c, let u be equal to 3 cos x over 2, because this is what we are trying to solve for. And th this is the curve we have already. So then we take the equation that we are trying to solve. So 2x equals 1 plus 2 cos x over 2, or rather 2x is equal to 1 plus 2 over 3u. And what you want to do is find an equation where it's like u is equal to mx plus c, because once you have the graph that you already plotted on one side of the equation and a straight line on the other equa on the other side of the equation, you can just go back to the graph you plotted already, plot the straight line, and whatever point they intersect in is gonna be the roots you're interested in. It's gonna be the solutions to this equation. So you have, we're gonna try and take it from this form into u is mx plus c, just like any old linear equation. So you have 2x is 1 plus 2 over 3u. You can multiply by 3 to get rid of the denominator here. 6x is equal to 3 plus 2u, or rather 2u would be equal to 6x minus 3. This is just subtracting 3 from both sides and doing some rearrangement like turning the equation back around. And finally, dividing both sides by 2 to get your form u is mx plus c. So we have u is equal to 6 divided by 2, 3. 3x minus 3 divided by 2, 3 over 2. So we are left with the equation that u is 3x minus 3 over 2. And you can check this. You can expand this back out and you get 3 cos x over 2 is equal to 3x minus 3 over 2. And this, this, this works as well. If you want to go directly from the original equation to this, it works as well. But I find that it's easier and it sort of it, it makes it more readable to have the original function be some kind of variable that you can then manipulate really trivially and easily into this kind of form where you have some line is equivalent to the curve here. And of course, once you have this thing, you know, you just need the knowledge that you can plot this and where this is equal to this, then of course that we'll have a solution for x. So what we can do at this point is basically you just have to um, sort of plot your straight line and see where the intersection is. So I'm going to plot it on here but I'm not actually going to get my solution from here. In the real exam you would draw your lines down to the x-axis but here I am simply going to um, go and do this on my graphical calculator because 
the last time I tried this, I failed pretty miserably, simply because the pen tablet is not the best tool for doing stuff like this. All right, so I'm actually quite impressed. There's quite a reasonably good graph, and we get our point of intersection to be somewhere around like uh, 1.3, I suppose. So I'm just going to quickly check this on the graphical calculator. So we have one line is y is 3 cos x over 2, and then we have another line is y is 3x minus 3 over 2. So 3x minus 3 over 2. Then we can draw this graph and look for the intersections. And yep, this was actually about right. We find that the intersection from the graphical calculator is about 1.2969. And if you're interested, the Y was 2.39, da da da. But we are just looking for the solutions to x, and this is the number we want. So we have, of course, given that it is from the graph, you're only expected to give the answer to one decimal place, and you can say that um, you would write from the intersection on the graph. <laughs> x would be equal to 1 over 3, or not 1 over 3, 1.3. Make sure you write your answers correctly. All right. So um, that is all for this question. Thanks for watching.